Hi, uh, in this video, I will show you how you can get your Facebook pages data as JSON without any coding. So first of all, log into NoCode API. When you logged in, uh, go to the marketplace. Search for Facebook pages API and use this API. Uh, to make the API, click on this button. You have to give a name like uh, uh any page give a name to the api now we need a long lived token so to uh, to get this long lived token this is a little process and we are using a tool to get that thing so follow this link when you follow this link you have to follow these steps these steps you uh, first of all create a facebook app if you already have then you don't no issues just click on this we already have some apps so we are going to use uh, let's create a new one create new app select the business plan continue give a name funny page app Choose this purpose is yourself, your, your own business. That will be good. Create app. So now your app, Facebook application is ready and go to the settings and go to the basics. You will see your app ID and your app secret. Copy the app ID. Paste over here. Now copy the secret, paste it over here. And now you need a Facebook exchange token. It's a short lived exchange token. So you can get this by go over here, go to the, this link. There are some steps. So first of all, we have to switch our the app we are using. So we are using this funny page app that we created. And now we have to uh, we have to choose uh, get the page users here pages we are because we are getting access token for pages so get page access token when you choose this this will make you this will ask you for login to the facebook so continue as number danish so this is going to list all the pages. You can select one specific page here. You can select all. So I'm going to select all. And next. So this is the permission that is asking the app. It's done. And now it's linked. So this is the access token that is created uh, because we have to switch to the page token. So we are going to use this page, the hello code API. And this access token is a short lived token. So we will convert this short lived token to a long lived token. So before that, we have to give some permission so that our endpoint will work. We have to give these permissions like page, page show list, publish to groups, and let's give them one by one. Publish to one is done. Pages read engagement is already here. Pages read user content for the comments to get the comment of a, uh, of a post and pages manage post. Put over here and page manage engagement. This is the last step. Now it's, it's done. And if you click again, generate access token, that's okay. Otherwise, uh, you have to click in and continue. And just remember, just change this thing to your the page you are looking to access. And copy this token, short lived token. So click on generate long lived token. When you click this, so you will get this long lived token. Copy this link long lived token, go back to the no code API dashboard and paste it over here. So now 
uh, we need a, a Facebook page username, yeah, the ID that we're looking at. So let's go to the Facebook page. Let me get the ID pages. And this is the page we, we are going to use. And this is the user ID. This numeric value is the user ID. You can change it in your setting and paste it over here. And in some cases, the username is like uh, if we see this is the just username. So you when you change your username in your setting uh, in the short form, this is kind of you can use a no code API. So for now, we're using this thing, this Facebook page, and just create this button. Your Facebook uh, page API is ready. When you click on use this API, we will have these endpoints get page post. Publish post, publish a photo, update a photo, delete a post, get comments, make comments. So let's try it one by one. So if you click and this endpoint, this will get all the posts from that Facebook page that we put the ID for that. And you can use this endpoint into the browser because it's a get request. That's cool. Let's go over here and issues now publish a photo so you can publish any uh, remote for uh, sorry publish a post so let's suppose uh, hello uh, I'm writing and click and test so the post is published on this Facebook page that we using uh, okay we refresh this page this is the post is published. That's great. Now, let's now test this uh, publish photo. So you can upload any remote image on your Facebook page post. Just paste your remote URL of your image and just click and test. So this will upload on your Facebook page. So let's see. If you refresh the page, this will come up on your Facebook page. And you can also update in a particular post that just pass a message that you want to update with and the pass the page post ID of that that post. You can also delete, just pass the paste uh, page post ID. So this is the ID of the post that we're going to delete it and paste it over here and just click and test. So when you do that, the post will delete from the your Facebook page. The post is deleted from that. And you can also get the comments of a particular post that user is commenting. So let's see which post have. This is the post have some comments. Let's get the ID of this. I think this is the ID. Uh, if you pass the post page ID, this will get the comment of uh, that particular post. You can also make a comment on that thing by messaging like, mm, "Hey, um, commenting." Click and test. When you do that, the comment is done. If you go to the page. And refresh. This is the post we did it. So this is all. This is really easy to get your get the API for your Facebook pages. So thanks.